Further back in the field then came Roll with Lachlan, but the leader full of running, I'm Bruce Almighty. It's I'm Bruce Almighty, well clear with 75 to go. It's got them covered and I'm Bruce Almighty. Beats Hurricane Roy Heenzo and Roll with Lachlan. David, uh, all I could hear in the crowd just then was Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. So he had a bit of a cheer squad tonight. Yeah, no, he's uh, he's pretty popular just with his name and just his nature too. He's uh, yeah, real, real nice horse. Yeah. yeah, he looks like a cool dude. He, and he, he did that pretty easily, 151 and change. Yeah, the thing about him, uh, he might might lack a little bit of high speed, but uh, he's very strong. That's what we like about him. He can just keep rolling out the sections there. Yeah. Coming at it hard is CC Ambro. It's finishing on very quickly. And soon after, CC Ambro gets alongside Charlie Rocks, gives it the go by, and comes away. CC Ambro first. Will, uh, that's a pretty special win for you. That's your biggest win to date. Yeah, definitely. To, to get a group two win is a uh, massive thrill, yeah. yeah how, how did you uh, get the drive on this little filly? Um, the family and, and the Sullivans have had a good association throughout the years. Wayne always comes down here and when he's got a nice horse and stays at our place. And Wayne's away on holidays in America at the moment, so I was just lucky enough to jump on on the night. Yeah, well, it paid off. Uh, she, she went really well, went 153.3, and she looked like she did it with plenty left in the tank as well. Yeah, she went super. She did a bit early and um, ended up getting a good run and then sort of had to go probably 100 metres too early than we would have liked. But to her credit, she just kept sticking it in and actually switched off a bit on the line. So yeah, she's a, she's a really good filly. And further out is Crime Don't Pay. He's chasing the wind out after Catcher Shuby. Catcher Shuby, he goes full bore, throwing everything bar his boot laces at her, but chasing the wind's got it. Chasing the wind went home best. Chasing the wind first. Chasing the wind, that was a pretty um, impressive performance on his debut, rated 153 and change. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Um, he sort of done it all in the one, one go then. Um, he, he was good early on and he had a couple of injuries and he had to have the time off and he's sort of been rushed up for this race but he's handled it and done it good. So how long have you had him for? Uh, we bought him from the Bathurst Shield on sales last year, yes. Okay. Got him for a good price? Yeah, actually I missed out on one before and we were standing there all sad and that and then he come in and he looked like a proud little fella so we just bought him just because of the looks and yeah, he's always been um, real proud and loves himself and yeah, he's been good so. And soon after, the 101 boulder goes up to go to the lead. I'll give you a daisy a day, the leader. Late down the outside, Joe's Joy. I'll give you a daisy a day. This is the biggest boil over since Polly put the kettle on. Davy Morris, that was a big win, caused a big upset tonight. Yeah, that was good. Um, the best thing about going in those kind of races when you're paying that kind of money is there's no, um, there's no real kind of pressure going into it. Uh, but realistically, the way that she went, the way that she handled things and the way she raced, she shouldn't have been paying, paying what she did. Well, that, that was your first drive on her tonight. Um, what were your thoughts? Um, yeah, Chris did say before the race that she can be a little bit headstrong. Um, and, and you just got to keep her happy, go with her and that. So behind the gate, I just slowly made my way up into position. Um, she got the fly on him and she come out absolutely pearler. Um, other than that, she was an absolute treasure to drive.